We'll normally have uh, the results that sometimes are very clear, sometimes not as clear, sometimes not clear at all. We are very uh, optimistic and hopeful that the votes of our citizens must count. The votes must count. INEC, in all the senatorial districts, federal constituencies, and across the country in various states, must ensure that the votes of Nigerians count. People trooped out under sometimes extreme conditions to cast their votes. Those votes must count. Nigerians must be the sole determinants of who leads them, who represents them. With this very brief remark, I want to uh, congratulate uh, our colleagues who have won their elections. But I want to also say that for our colleagues who are not able to uh, win in the way that we had hoped, this is not the end of the road for anyone. We have still so much roles to play in the running of our country. We have amassed so much experience here that any government would like to have our experience put into use, whether it is at this level or at the state level. But at this level is where our experience is largely needed. So we congratulate all of us because we have something that this country will always need. A federal lawmaker also draws the attention of the Senate to the controversies raised from the elections. The floor then opens for a debate. The provision of the transfer of result from PU is for the polling officers to snap the result announced at the PU and transfer same to our next server of poor availability of network, but not transmission in real time. This is the provision of the Electoral Act which we passed. That the Electoral Act and other guidelines provide for the collation of results and final announcement to be done by the chief returning officers as far as the presidential election, as for the uh, presidential election. That the Electoral Act provides for any person that is dissatisfied with the announced result to seek redress in the court and not to engage in any other unlawful action. This Senate is concerned with the various comments and actions by individuals on the Sorry? ongoing process of coalition Just hold and announcement of presidential election. The Senate is worried of the potential effect of such comments and action to the peace, welfare, and progress of this country. The Senate, the Senate is therefore urged to resolve to urge all political actors, leaders, and all Nigerians to remain calm, law-abiding, and now and allow the process of collation and announcement of the result of the presidential election end of 25th day of February 2023. The Senate should urge INEC to co conduct its responsibility of collation and announcement of the presidential election in line with the guidelines for the conduct of the election. There is no doubt that as the upper chamber, we need to also have a voice in whatever is happening within the country. However, this process is still an ongoing process. It is on, it has not ended. And there is no serious crisis other than to ask the INEC to follow its own guidelines and the Electoral Act. Simple, 
there is no reason for us to play to the gallery or to pretend that we are holier than others. We should not ignite violence. No, I don't, I don't think there's anybody and the who's interested. Is for I think you are on the right track. Round it up nobody and is going to yeah. ask everybody yeah. to maintain peace and order while we go through this process and finish it yeah. properly. Mr. President, most of us here, apart from a few of us within context elections, cannot sit in judgment in what is happening in Nigeria today. And we cannot interpret the law because we are not the judiciary. Mr. President, all, like you rightly pointed out, if we have to say anything at all, we should just appeal to Nigerians for calm while the proper thing is done. And Anek has to do the proper thing. Nobody can come here and tell us that the, BV, um, um, the Beavers machine was not supposed to transmit results. It was supposed to transmit results direct, supported with a photograph of the result. And there is no way you can collate results without having your beavers total in your server. In every uh, collation point in Nigeria, there is a technology person that is stationed in the, in the collations and, uh, uh, collation center whose responsibility is to make sure that the beavers numbers tally with the result numbers. And so if INEX sits down here and is reporting results without tallying it with the numbers in the VS, it's wrong. As a, a parliament and the, and the, the, the upper parliament in this uh, National Assembly, it is our duty to stabilize the polity by the pronouncements we make in the parliament to calm the nerves, the frayed nerves of people that are agitated, one way or the other, as, 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 as a result of the last election that just happened on 25th uh, February. We are not here to uh, make incendiary remarks here that will cause any reason. We are here to appeal to our people to uh, follow the law and we're asking all the agencies of government that are also involved in this election hearing to also ensure that they follow strictly censor or what the law stipulates, both the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, both the Electoral Act of 2022 amended, and the law. That's all you are saying here, so that the elections at the end of the day will come out of it. Anyway, it must come, once you go for election, it must go either one way or the other. And anywhere it goes that it doesn't, that we have opportunity to go to law courts, the tribunal, to canvas and ensure that we right the wrongs. There are just three issues on this. One, accreditation and verification to be done by the beavers. And in that case, it's real time. How is it real time? When you accredite, every time there is, maybe after getting like 20, 30 names, it's sent back to the back end server. That is done clearly, which is completely different from where an election results. Election results, we are not voting electronically for that real time effect of transfer to happen or transmission to happen. Transmission can only happen in the case of results after it has been published on the Vibus. How is it published? Like you having your phone and taking a picture and then send. So it's not real time. It's not real time. It's publishing. It's publishing. It's, uh, uh, it's, but, but it has been uploaded. It has uploaded automatically. It's there in the back end of the server. Wait now, you want clarification and you're arguing. You want clarification and you're arguing. What are you arguing for? What are you arguing for? You want clarification. If you are not convinced with the clarification, go to court. Eh? Your Excellency. Please, uh, Senator Demi, you just walked in. Please. Your Excellency. Listen, listen to what is happening. Your Excellency, we, we know that we are, not, we are not in court to interpret what we have passed as a law. We have already passed that as a law. We are not a court to interpret. But INEC has the responsibility to give out a guideline. And they have not breached anything in the guideline. What I'm saying is that it's a simple process. And that process, after publishing, they send it to back-end servers. 
And when it is in the, at the back end servers of the INEC, it is at that point that INEC can decide now to publish it and trans I mean, put it on the IREP or not. And if they don't put it on the IREP, from what we have read so far, INEC have been attacked 160 times. 160 times. And nobody is making any, any issue about that. The Senate should not involve itself in even the call for calm. Time has not come. Please, you should remember, the elections have come. And in fact, they have gone. And you know, whatever happens at the coalition centers and the social media, we should not, the Senate should not involve itself. Not to talk about asking members, senators, to interpret the law. Our job has been done and finished with. We passed the Electoral Act. You said it yourself. And for goodness sake, if we don't step down this thing, there will be endless controversy on party lines. And God knows what it will generate in the public domain. Even before the motion is being moved, you can see the controversy. People are interpreting it along party lines. The best way is to step down this act because let's not lean on INEC in, 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 in doing their job. Let's not lean on them in any way. Let's just step it down because it, if in, on this floor is generating this kind of controversy, imagine what will happen out there when the motion is passed. Even if it's advised, people will misinterpret it. In its resolution, the Senate urges the Independence National Electoral Commission to abide by the dictates of the law guiding the collation and announcement of results and appeals to all political actors, electorates and Nigerians to remain calm and law-abiding. Meanwhile, in the House of Representatives, the Speaker is calling for resistance to those seeking to exploit this moment of tension for their own ends. Expressing his opinion during the resumption of plenary in the lower chamber, the Speaker is optimistic that the country will be at peace in the end. We will defeat the cynicism of those waiting to see their worst predictions for our country become real. Section 52, subsection 3 of the report in the Senate stated that the Commission may transmit results from elections by electronic means where and when practicable. But an amendment to the clause caused a rift among lawmakers, causing a division. But an amendment to the clause caused a rift among lawmakers, leading to a division. Mr. President, I would like to amend clause 52, 3. And I would like, like to amend as follows. The Commission may consider electronic transmission of results provided the national network coverage is adjudged to be adequate and secure by the National Communication Commission and approved by the National Assembly. This is my amendment. Mr. President, I still insist we want Nigerians to know who has voted or not. The votes were cast, counted, and the majority voted to amend Clause 52 by empowering the Nigerian National Communications Commission to determine the use of electronic means to transmit election results. So if you think we should retain what is here, you will vote yes. If you think what we have passed before the amendment of Senator Sabi, then you vote against this one. Is that clear? Yeah, put the question. Okay, I'll put the question. And the amendment Please, for the avoidance of doubt. For the, word, for the avoidance of doubt, the way it is written here is the commission may transmit results of elections by electronic means where and when practical. This is the amendment. So if you don't want it, I will put the question now. Those in favor that clause 52.3, as amended by Senator Abasi Akpan, 
Say I. Those against say nay. The nays have it. The consideration of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, particularly Clause 52, was more acrimonious in the House, prompting the Speaker to invite the Nigerian Communications Commission and the Electoral Umpire, INEC, to speak on their preparedness to transmit election results electronically. It's only 3G that could give that kind of cover, I mean, that could give that kind of transmission. Okay. Uh, in full, I mean. Okay, so yes. only 3G yes. can adequately... Uh, um, transmit, transmit yes, uh, only 3G. Yes, the station, the polling units that fell under 3G coverage, let's just say the stations that had 3G coverage came to about 50%. The House eventually passed the bill and retained Clause 52, which empowers INEC to decide the best means to transmit election results. But three months later, on October 12, 2021, the Senate made a U-turn and gave INEC free reign to determine the procedure of transmission of results during elections. Voting at an election and transmission of results under this bill shall be in accordance with the procedure determined by the Commission. Those in favor of Clause 52 as amended, say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have but on 21st December 2021, President Buhari wrote to the National Assembly declining assent to the electoral bill, citing the cost of conducting direct primary elections, security challenges and possible manipulation of electoral processes by political players as part of the reasons for his decision. The conduct of direct primaries across the 8,809 wars across the length and breadth of the country will lead to a significant spike in the course of conducting primary elections by parties, as well as increase in the cost of monitoring such elections by INEC. In addition to increased costs identified above, conducting and monitoring primary elections across 8,809 wars will pose huge security challenges, as the security agencies will also be overstretched and such large turnout without effective security coordination will also engender intimidation and disruptions, thereby raising credibility issues for the outcomes of such elections. DJ DJ